Now let's say we are required to calculate the value of a bond using the pathwise valuation. So this bond X is an option-free bond with a par value of $100 with a 3-year maturity and a coupon rate of 5% that is annually paid. From this binomial interest rate tree, we are required to use the interest rate path where we start off with a 3% one-year spot rate okay, and then followed by a 5.2% one-year forward rate in one year's time okay and then a 4.8% one year forward rate in two years time okay so this is the current path that we are required to use so when you use the pathwise valuation to calculate the value of a bond okay so the first thing that you need to know is what are the cash flows so the coupon here will be a 5% times $100 which is a $5 per year for three years so if I draw a timeline okay we have uh, from year 0 year 1 year 2 and year 3 Okay, and of course, uh, we have $5 here, and in the final year, you have $105. And then for the interest rate path, okay, we have 3% for the one-year spot rate. Okay, so that's 3%. And then uh, for the one-year forward rate in one year's time, that would be 5.2%. And for the one-year forward rate in two years' time, that would be 4.8%. So what we need to do now is we need to calculate the PV of all these cash flows back to time zero. So we'll start off with the first cash flow, which is our five dollars here, and we will discount five dollars from year one to year zero using the one year spot rate, right? So that would be five dollars divided by one point zero three. Okay, so that gives us the PV of that first year's coupon. And for the coupon in year two, okay, we have to discount it from year two to year zero. So how I'll always show it is that uh, we'll take the five dollars in year two, and then first of all, uh, we will uh, discount it using the 5.2 percent but this will only discount the cash flow from year two to year one okay so if i divide by 1.052 here okay it will only discount the cash flow from year two to year one so we still need to discount it from year one to year zero and to do that we will discount it using the one year spot rate so i'll divide by another 1.03 here okay so effectively that brings it to year zero okay so this is just to accompany the timeline Okay, so that is clear for you to see. And then uh, for the last cash flow, $105 here in year 3. Okay, so to do it in a similar way, I will first discount it using 4.8%. So that's, uh, I'll divide by 1.048. So that, that discounts the cash flow from year 3 to year 2. Right, and then to discount it from year 2 to year 1, I will divide by 1.052. Okay, and then to discount it back to year 0, I'll divide by 1.03. Okay, so once you do that, you calculate the PV of each cash flow and you will get the value of the bond under the pathwise valuation. Now, okay, the next part is uh, how do we then use the calculator in an efficient way to get the answer quickly. So uh, in the usual way that I do it, okay, what I'll do is I'll, you can calculate the PV of each cash flow one by one and then you can store it in the calculator and then you can use the recall function to sum it up. Okay, but of course, there are other variations that you can uh, use to get the answer. Right, so if, if I go by the first way, let's say if I go by, uh, let's say, 5 divided by 1.03. Okay, so that's fairly simple. Okay, but uh, just to uh, be consistent, what I'll do now is, uh, let's say, I'll type 1.03, okay, for the denominator. Okay, I'll, we'll focus on the first item here. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll press 1 over x. This is to calculate the inverse of 1.03. Okay, so 0 0.9708 is a 1 over the denominator. Okay, and then I'll multiply by 5. Okay, then I'll get the PV of the first year's coupon. Okay, which is 4.8544. Uh, now, I will press store 1 just to save the number. And then when I go to the next one, okay, I will use the same method. All right, so I'll, I'll type 1.03 times 1.052. Okay, and that's the, deno uh, the denominator. And then again, I'll press 1 over x, and then I'll multiply by 5. Then I get the PV of the second cash flow. I'll store 2. And then finally, for the last uh, cash flow, okay, uh, I'll take 1.03 times 1.052 times 1.048. Okay, and then I get the denominator. I will invert it. Okay, and then I multiply by 105. Okay, so that is the... Uh, PV of the last cash flow. Now, it's whether uh, whether you want to save this number or not is up to you. But if you want to keep it, you can press store three, okay. But otherwise, you can just sum it with the first two numbers earlier. So I'll just press plus recall two. This was the second PV, 
and then plus recall one okay and you will get the value of the bond under the pathwise valuation method okay which is 101.93 now uh, okay of course another way that you can use without uh, using the uh, store and recall function is to actually uh, discount the cash flow from the last period all the way up to the uh, up to time zero so what you can do right is you can actually take 105 here from the last cash flow and then you can divide by 1.048 Okay, so that will discount the cash flow, the value of the bond up to year two. And then once you do that, you will just add the coupon in uh, year two, our plus five here. And then I'll divide by 1.052. Okay, and then they will discount it back to year one. And then we just add the coupon in year one. Okay, and then lastly, we discount it back at 3%. I'll divide by 1.03. And you will also get 101.93. Okay, so that works as well. But of course, uh, you will have to keep track and you need to add in the coupon every time you discount. Okay, except for, of course, uh, when you reach time zero. So this one doesn't require the use of the store and recall function. Now, another way, okay, uh, to go about it is to actually calculate the denominator and then you can store it into the, uh, the, the numbers here. So what I'll do now is, let's say if we start from 1.03, right, so then I'll, I'll press a uh, store seven. Okay, and then after that, I'll continue to multiply by 1.052. Okay, then I'll get the denominator for the second term. So I'll store 8. And then I'll continue to multiply by 1.048. Then I get the denominator for the third term. I'll store as number 9. So what you need to do now is just take the first coupon, 5. And then you divide by recall 7. Okay, and then you continue to press plus. And then coupon for year two, five, divide by recall eight. Okay. And then plus the final cash flow, 105. And then divide by recall nine. Okay. And you will get the PV of the bond, which is 101.93. Now, of course, uh, this can only be done if you are using the AOS setting in your calculator. Okay. If, if you are using CHN, which is the chain method, then it wouldn't work.